Hello guys, another review on the Rebel Subway Triplane 172 World 1 aircraft. Well, it's a tiny model. Yes. And well, let's begin with the instruction sheet. Typical from Rebel. The box art image and the brief history of the Subway Triplane in this case. Yeah. It opens like this way, triptych. Here we've got the map, the sprue map, as I say. Here we've got, as you can see here, we don't need this part, this tail. We have this one. And I don't know why, but if you want. The engine assembly, cockpit with pilot figure. And I, I, I like that. I like cockpits with figures. Not always, but yeah. In World War One aircrafts, aircraft, yeah, I like pilots. Yeah, now Harry, you have to use here in this part some putty. I don't know how it's called. Putty, I think. And here, yeah, no, that's the only way, the only part. Yeah. And yeah, as always, triplanes, biplanes, difficult to build. Well, not very easy. As you can see here in the image, you can see these parts here. It doesn't very clear. Um, how you can place them, but if you can see exactly this part, the one who maintains this part of the wing to the uh, straight must be near the the fuselage, not at the top. Yeah, remember that guy. Told you, like this should have should seen. Yeah. Now. This part is difficult. I don't do that on biplanes or triplanes. I don't want. I won't do it because, you know. Ah, yeah. I forgot the paints needed. Well, here you need. Here are the paints you need, guys. A lot of them for uh, the a little airplane. All right. Now the the last part. This thing. Yes, the paint scheme. For and subcutter plan number uh, five four nine three blimp number eight squadron Royal Naval Air, Air Service Saint Elul France May July nineteen seventeen. Yes, looks pretty. Now let's go into the model. We've got the tiny model. Again, guys, this happened to me again with this airplane as with the FE-5A with the SE-5A let me show you a mini match remember the decals were too they broke very easily as in the same as on this aircraft the Royal Aircraft Factory SE-5A yes the brick the decals are not good, are good enough both for Rebel but they break easily look look this part you know, you look that red stripe on there. Wait a second, let's focus the camera. You see that? I like it. And here it broke the stripe. I'm sorry for that, guys. I don't use putty. I don't like that. You know the stripe that there broke? And, I, and the dot here on this insignia fell down so I had to put the paint it with red. Yeah. Not a very good model guys. I do know I bought them straight out of the box. I don't like to do very much um, effort on those uh, one of these. Yeah, because I don't see them very 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 much. Yeah. Now we've got the engine, the propeller, the MG gun, the pilot and as I told you before, this part should be down, not upstairs or up there on the upper side. No, guys, you can see that well. The short part of this, of this, should be near the fuselage. Yeah, that's something you must remember. Blimp, and also the the insignia here for the blue, white, and red uh, ruler. I think, yeah, 
that too broke and fell down and, and get got lost so I had to paint it again I had to paint it it's painted yeah well the subway triplane I like this airplane looks very awesome oh shit looks awesome for me I like that I love I like uh, World One Warbirds. Yeah. Well then, guys, that was all for today. Bye bye.